Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, been a week or two since I put a video up, so I'm going to do a quick one here. Uh, what we're going to do today is install this window into my look cargo trailer. Um, it's a car trailer, actually. A uh, race car trailer. Um, we're going to put it in the door on it because these don't come with windows and I actually use this for like camping and shit periodically too. So um, I'll get you show you a little closer up of the window here and show you what I did on the door. So what I got here is a vintage... Vintage Technologies Premium RV Window, uh, 14 by 22, which is um, dimensions of the actual window. The whole thing is a little wider than that. Um, so I'll give you like the SKU number. I can find it on there. It's like an SKU number, um, all the other numbers if you need it. Uh, and the price, about $115.95 is like the cheapest I found. It's like $122 something out the door. The reason it costs so damn much is because I wanted it to open up. You can get this pretty much exact same window and frame and everything for like 78, 85 bucks somewhere in that area. But I paid up a little more because I wanted it to be able to open up, you know, get a little bit of breeze going through there and stuff. Um, so I'll show you kind of here. It just kind of it's like a track that runs around in there. You can see that little groove right there. And this frame basically just sandwiches this window into that door. It's got a seal on it there. Um, it's supposed to be watertight, but I'm going to go ahead and caulk around it anyway just to be safe. Comes with a little bag of screws. They're kind of like just short Phillips head self-tappers. Um, I'll take you over the trailer and show you that. How I, I basically just measured out center of the door. You know, put a line in the center of the door. Put a line here, like on the center of the window, top and bottom. Measured out the distance I needed. Um, drew a straight line on there, and then I held this up there and traced around this inside lip here traced around that because that's pretty much what I need to go through there uh, and I might have to mess around with it a little bit just to get it to fit a little bit better um, but I'm gonna just drill a hole in there and then take my jigsaw and cut out around it I'm just gonna use this as cheap Walmart brand uh, variable speed jigsaw like I said it shouldn't take too much and I got blades in there I'm gonna put I'm gonna use a metal blade just because of the thin sheet metal on the outside the wood blade will probably do it but I've got the metal so I'm gonna try that first uh, if it doesn't seem to work, then I'll swap it out. As you can see on here, like I said, I held it up, measured center mark here and top and bottom, decided how high I wanted it. I put it like five inches down from the top of this trim, and that's going to give me about another half inch or, or so, maybe an inch above that line there. Uh, dimensions on the door, I just wrote them on here because I knew I was cutting that panel out. It does have a thin, like a 22 or 29 gauge sheet metal on the outside. Then the inside is just that cheapy wood stuff. Like I said, this, this part here, when I measured it, this is probably just a touch under inch and a half and a little over inch and a quarter. So inch and five sixteenths should be the right size. Um, worst case scenario, I got to, you know, put a spacer in here or something like that. But I don't think I'll have to do that. So I'm just going to take this here and, you know, just find a spot on here. You know, and drill a hole in it and then we'll start cutting out from there. So... You know, I ain't gonna lie, it is a little nerve-wracking cutting into a brand new trailer like that, but somebody's got to do it, I guess. Then it just puts a little hole in there, gives me kind of a center mark, and the jigsaw blade should fit through there. And then I'll get it cut out and bring you back and show you what it looks like. I ended up had to switch to a wood blade. Um, the metal ones I had weren't long enough, but it's basically just following the line up. You know, the, the door flexes a little bit. It's a, a styrofoam core, so it wants to move around a little bit. So... But as you can see, the metal one cuts it just fine, and I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting the rest of this out, and then I'll bring it back. Alright, you can see I got it in there. Um, these screws just screw in, they're like a self-tapper screw, and they go into that little channel right there. That one's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get a light on here. Right in there, see that little groove just inside of there. The self-tappers kind of screw right into that. I'm just kind of working my way around, keeping it as square as I can. Hey, see, it's in there. Uh, if I would have done it over again, one thing I probably would have done is taped off around here, where the jigsaw goes at around here, kind of scratch it up some. Um, you know, scratch up, beat up a little bit, but, you know, it's, it's going to happen, I guess. So, I'm not going to be too concerned about it. 
like I said, if I could do it over again, I would definitely probably tape this all off and mark it out a little bit better. But if anybody that knows me knows I'm more of a let's just get it done and then figure it out from there kind of thing. So, but it's in there. I got to finish putting some screws in there. But this bottom part here opens and closes up. Like I said, I just needed it for some, some air in there, a little bit of light too. But it's black out, so you really can't see in there. Uh, maybe if I got a light or something on in there, you can see in there. But for the most part, you know, it's all installed and back up a little bit give you a little better view of it but there it is so thanks for watching down in one of these corners here a little subscribe button go ahead and click that for more videos um you know do a lot of stuff like this you know i redid the inside of the trailer here too i don't know if i showed dad anything yet um, but i carpeted like the front seven feet of it put all aluminum back there so that if anything drips it doesn't leak all over it put some cabinets in there a little workbench um, I'll show you a little bit better off when I get it cleaned out and ready to use it again for the summertime. So 